All right, Patrick, uh, thanks for your patience. We have put together a fair proposal here, fair and reasonable. Of course, we understand that you're the judge and jury when it comes to fair and reasonable. But make no mistake about it. We know what it takes to get someone's business these days. All right, um, we're in business to make a profit. We also know that uh, if we don't get right with the price, you leave. It's all about the money right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. The uh, 2006 Ford F-250, I mean, the right vehicle. If it was free, you'd be gone already. So we know it's all about the money. So here's your opportunity. MSRP on it was 23. We discounted $1,000. You own it for 22 plus taxes, tag, title, and fees. Your vehicle, we love it. We're going to buy it for 16,500 bucks. Now, what's that? 682. It's a bonus. Six $100 bills, four 20s, and a two. Well, you better not do a two. They'll think you're queer. Let's do two ones. Um, that comes from the state of Alabama because you're trading the vehicle into us. That is your tax credit. If you did not trade this in, you would pay $682 more in taxes for this vehicle. Now, with an initial investment of $4,000, which is what most of our customers on a vehicle in this price range would like to put down, you've got three payment options. 36 months at $776 to $786. This is a short-term payment. I, I, I can see your eyes going, whoa! Most people won't show you this because they're afraid to, but we're not afraid to show our customers a way to save money. At 36 months, you pay significantly less in finance charges. You pay it off sooner, and you can trade or sell it quicker because your equity is accelerated. Now, realistically, most of our customers want a more comfortable payment. At 60 months, it goes all the way down to 541 to 551. That payment is not only comfortable, it's also flexible, meaning that you can save a lot of the money you would up here by just accelerating the payments at your own pace. 48 months, best of both worlds. 625 to 635, much lower than it is at 36. You save more money than you would at 60. So if you will circle and initial the payment that works best for you, I'll get your new or pre-owned Ford ready for delivery. Steve? I want more for my trade. I wanted eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, um, I understand, Patrick. I'd like to say I'm really happy to hear that, but of course I'm not. But you know what? Everybody says it, so it's not a problem. We understand. I myself have never traded a car into a dealer and left there going, "Wow, did I get him? Gave me way too much for it." So we get it. Other than the trade, though, everything else is cool. Nothing else stops you from taking delivery today. Yes. Okay. Now, I do not know where you got that $18,000 number, <clears throat> but it's a good one. Your research is spot on. As a matter of fact, we're thinking it can be worth even a little bit more than that. But the key here is it can be worth more. The question is, who's going to make it worth more? This is our business, but you know what? A lot of our customers choose to do it themselves. And why don't we run through the numbers real quickly, and um, then you make the call uh, you know, the, the way you see it best. Fair enough? Sure. Okay. You want $18,000. <clears> the actual cash value of this vehicle, the way it sits right now, is $16,500, which is a difference of $1,500. Okay, $1,500 is a lot of money. Um, if I saw the opportunity to get it, oh no, where am I in the picture? Well, we <laughs> um, <clears throat> if I saw the opportunity to make $1,500, I'm all in, and I think you should be too. However, remember this, okay, I talked to you about the $682 tax credit back here, all right? If you got $18,000 for this vehicle and came back here to buy this truck, you'd find that your price went up $682, not because we changed the price, but because the state of Alabama no longer would provide you that tax credit. So the difference is not just $1,500, in fact, do me a favor. Punch in 1500 and then hit the minus sign, then punch in 682. That's 818. Okay. So we're $818 apart right now, but you know what? 818 bucks is a lot of money to me and it is to most of my customers, so I'm with you 100%. However, when we said we think it can be worth 18000 or even more, um, we're not kidding, but it's going to take an investment. All right, um, it's just like uh, anything else in life. When you invest in something, normally it provides you a return. We know for a fact, in order to get this kind of money for it, we'd have to put tires on the vehicle. I also know for a fact that if you're going to get that kind of money for it, you'd have to put tires on the vehicle. Any idea what it would cost to put four new tires on that vehicle? I probably think you already know. $400. Okay. 
Obviously, whether you sell it or we sell it, it's going to have to look good. Okay, we spend 150 to 200 bucks to detail the cars. I don't think you would need to spend that much. Maybe a hundred. Probably. Okay. Remember this. Um, it takes us somewhere between 30 and 60 days to market a uh, used car off our lot. We are at the crossroads of the only two four-lane highways in this county. We spend a lot of money advertising. We have 12 to 15 finance sources and about uh, 13 salespeople and managers around here to do nothing but sell these cars. So is there a chance it might take you, the Lone Ranger, at least 30 days to sell the car? Okay. So I'm going to guess you'd have to at least get it washed three or four more times, maybe another 20 bucks, 30 bucks? Probably. Okay. So that moves to 130. Your car needs servicing, but you know what? Somebody coming in off the street wouldn't know that, so I'm going to leave it alone. Um, your dings and dents, we, we take them out. They cost us a couple hundred bucks, but don't bother them. Uh, and I don't see any other repairs that are necessary. Advertising, you can pretty much do everything from nothing on uh, certainly Craigslist. Um, but if it did take you 30 more days, you would have to make another car payment, wouldn't you? Yes. How much is that? $400. All right. So just think about this for a second. The difference was $818. But in order to get $818, you'd have to invest $400. Here, add this up for me real quick. $400 plus $130. Um, plus $400. That's $930. Well. For all your troubles, you pay 50 bucks for the honor of selling a car. If you want to sell cars, let me get you an application. Okay, we're always looking for good people, but I got a, I got a feeling you don't. Okay, pick the payment and okay that. Right here, please.